It's Fraud Prevention Month, and with more people at home and working online during the pandemic, there's been a huge increase in many different scams. Romance and investment scams continue to have the largest dollar losses, but there is another type of fraud that is leaving a trail of additional victims. Pat Foran explains tonight on Consumer Alert. Pat. There is Michelle and Nathan. Extortion scams are now the top scam in Canada when it comes to the number of cases reported. Criminals might send you a letter, text, or email with any number of different threats and they claim if you don't pay up you could face harm or jail time with more people self-isolating working from home and shopping online the pandemic has created an environment that is ripe for fraud and criminal activity scammers are busier than ever Canadians are getting text messages voicemails emails and the fraudsters the scammers out there are far more sophisticated than they've ever been before in 2020 canadians lost 12 and a half million dollars to extortion scams something the anti-fraud center says is a growing type of criminal activity extortion scams came in at number one in terms of the number of reports we got with over 17,000 reports on extortion scams scammers are targeting homeowners in the gta who have widened their driveways a scarborough family got a letter that said their driveway had been illegally altered. This is not a scam. Please make a payment of $500. The money is usually asked for in Bitcoin. The City of Toronto said the letters are fake and residents should contact police if they get one. There are also letters sent that contain powdered sugar that scammers claim is fentanyl and people must pay money or they will be harmed. Criminals also try to blackmail people, saying they have proof they were looking at adult websites or they have photos of them in compromising situations. They're going to be threatening in nature, coercive in nature, and they're going to ask you to pay by Bitcoin is what we're seeing. Also beware of scams that claim they can get you to the front of the line to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. And with tax time now here, watch out for text messages or emails that claim your cash refund has arrived and ask for your banking information. And part of the reason so many people get scammed is only about 5% of fraud is ever reported. Police say when you hear about a scam, tell two people and ask them to tell two more people to spread the word. Doing this can help prevent more fraud. On your side, I'm Pat Foran. If you have a consumer story idea, email us at alert at ctv.ca.